Well, you know me, I gotta put my two cents in. Unfortunately, guys, we had an incident where, as I'm sure everyone knows, uh, the uh, gentleman that was killed, uh, George Floyd, by a police officer, uh, and, uh, every, and, you know, I don't know anyone, I haven't seen anything on social media or anywhere else, anyone defending the actions of this police officer, okay? I, 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 you can't just say, well, he did it, he did this and he needs to go to jail right now. They need to go through the process of, of convicting him, all those things. And, you know, he needs to have his day in court just like anyone would. <clears throat> but, as I've talked about before, the response that we have is, um, well, is despicable. And I'll tell you something else. The, these protests that we've been having... You know, I hear from people uh, all the time. Well, if you, if, if you are telling me that the protests, that you're more worried about the protests than what actually happened, then I'm part of the problem. Well, I, I, I like to reverse that because if you are part of these protests and for these protests, you're part of the problem, not me, because I'm not out looting, pillaging, and Yes, that's right. Killing a federal officer, which uh, uh, his name was Underwood. Last name was Underwood. Patrick Underwood was the name of this uh, federal officer that, that, that they shot. They shot him because he was standing there uh, uh, making sure that they didn't uh, break the windows and destroy the federal building. So they shot him. They shot two officers that day, but he's the one that died. And um, I'm not sure if he was a black man, a white man, or Asian, who he was, what. But he died. And I, I bet you that most of the people watching these videos, watching this video, if anybody does watch it, don't even know that it happened by protesters' hands. They attacked a woman in a wheelchair. They've burned structures all over the country. They burned police cars. They're hurting people. And they're really just thugs. If you watch the videos, these people are just thugs. They're the street street gang uh, individuals that that you uh, you see, and they they do these kinds of things, and they're just looking for an excuse. And we continue to give them the venue to do that. Okay, and don't give me that peaceful protest stuff. Where 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 is the peaceful protest? I haven't seen one yet. Every single one develops into a riot, and someone gets hurt. Some kind of business gets damaged, cars get burned, people have to run, the police have to come out with tear gas, rubber bullets, riot shields, and a whole bit. And even happened here in Albuquerque uh, last night, early this morning. Um, and what the world do we have to do with what happened in, in, in Minneapolis? Uh, and, and, and who's on the other side of this that you're protesting? Nobody out there that I've seen says, well, let, it, it, it's the uh, uh, fault of the, uh, uh, the suspect and the officer was correct. That just isn't the narrative. Everybody can see in full display what happened. And everybody's on your side. So I just want to congratulate these protesters. You are now the monster that you claim to be against, that you claim to be protesting. Congratulations, monster. You're all responsible for the death of a man that was just doing his job and unjustly he was killed. And you all are responsible. If you try to say that you don't have some responsibility, you're wrong because you continue to do this Continue to say, we're going to have a peaceful protest that you dang well know is going to turn into a damn riot. Please, just stop. End this. End this now so that we can move on and this guy can get convicted and, and have his day in court and, and we can go through that process and then he can be have a penalty assessed to what he did. And maybe the other officers that are involved also burning buildings down and killing more people is not the answer. You 
guys have a good day.